Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Tieflings. Never gave you all much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. It's not talking enough for my liking. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here, I hate it. This is awful. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. I'm just looking for a little more excitement. A little more fun. Oh, what the hell's... Sex. Passion. Fun. It's easy for some. You and Shadowheart seem to have a connection. It looks very sweet. Not what I call passionate or interesting, but sweet. I'm sure it'll be adequate. But you go ahead. Have fun. Thank you. I'm glad you sought me out. Amidst all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. More's the pity you've already found someone else to make merry with. Just the two of you. There's something unspeakable about Shallow Heart. But I mean that in a good way. She seems to me like a bud on the cusp of bursting into a rose. That, or deadly nightshade. Far be it from me, of course, to question your tastes. Caught on to that, did you? Might be the wine talking. As they say in Waterdeep, in wine there is truth. That's usually followed by, in water there is good sense. Good sense? We'll have to wait till the morrow. There he is, the man himself. Let us raise a glass to freedom from tyranny. May we hew a clear path for the downtrodden to travel. To you, a legend in the making. And to you and Shadowheart, may your stars burn ever bright. And if I were? <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not jealous then. Go off, have your fun. I've got a tank could keep in me company. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us you have promised your knight to the half-elf. I've no doubt you will satisfy your tastes for endless conversation. Perhaps, perhaps not. I will take pleasure when I wish and from whom I wish. Astarian looks particularly tempting tonight. One day fortune may favor you. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone.
With whom will you share a bed? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. And no tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Fishing for blackmail material, that's all. Go on. I insist. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. Don't laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things, they're lost to me right now. Hmm, <laughs> I did, and you remembered. You're sweet. There's still plenty of wine, and the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know, but you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? I should think so. Let's head back, if we must. Shah's blessings upon you. Please don't remind me. A mistake I'll try to avoid in future.